Mr. Sir, Abdul Khalif, retired from Pakistan Army. I am a war veteran also. I was born in 1971 uh, in, uh, in West Pakistan, of course. But I belong to you. I belong to East Pakistan and uh, we were there. In 1971, my parents migrated to West Pakistan. And, uh, we have seen the conditions and we have seen the situations there. Uh, really, I have been there frustrated, but luckily, uh, luckily I got out of the police by his And uh, that's a uh, bad experience. I'm sorry, about, uh, we lost our housing and uh, it shouldn't have happened. There, there is all on this, every side. So let's hope the future is good. क्या लें कैसे थैंक यू समन सेटिंग दे इम्तिहान में पूरा उतरा हूँ इधर आ जाएं सर हालांकि इन्होंने अपना वजन काफी बदल लिया है पुलिस अफसर जो है रेडामेंट को दारी रखले इसका मतलब क्या है इसका मतलब ये कि ये भी सांसद में जा रहे हैं जब से आपको याद है सर हमने लॉन्च की थी दिसंबर 16 ये आज बात हुई थी ये बात को मत ये आप तो कह रहे थे मुझसे बात हाँ सर मैंने क्या मैंने कहा मैं तो लॉन्चिंग में शरीक थे that presents live images from those days, oh, yeah. that brings together the views and analysis of very respected scholars and analysts. And I also found to my great dismay that several very respected academics in the West kept repeating parrot-like mm. many of the falsehood and fabrication that have been perpetuated for the past 50 years in which Pakistan is alone held responsible for what happened in 1971. Therefore, as we approach the 50th anniversary, I had a choice of whether to start writing another book or to try to create a documentary which would first of all reach global audiences and also Pakistani audiences. What we have done is to assemble together for the first time archival footage which is very difficult to find and it took a lot of effort to assemble it made the more difficult because we were working under COVID-19 conditions a film is normally produced by a team that is sitting face to face more or less working in the same city this documentary film was produced over three continents Asia, Karachi, Islamabad, London, where the voiceover was recorded, and New York, where a lot of the post-production was done. And there was a lot of to and fro. So thanks to connectivity, we were able to turn is self-evident. Pakistan, unfortunately, was the first nation state after the Second World War to disintegrate. It is cold comfort that several other nation states also disintegrated oh. after 1971, whether it was the Soviet Union or Ethiopia or Yugoslavia or what have you. The fact is that as Pakistanis, we are more concerned with our own history. And to revisit history is one of the most difficult things that anyone can do, whether it is an individual
Immediately after the surrender ceremony on the 16th of December 1971, cameras were able to capture the cold-blooded massacres of unarmed non-Bengalis, which was perpetrated by elements of the Mukti Bahini and by others celebrating the uh, victory against Pakistan. And those themselves eloquently and tragically reveal the See how anything short of another bloodbath could ever bring it down again. After his release in January 1972, Sheikh Mujibar Rahman triumphantly returned to Bangladesh as its new leader. The tragic civil war in East Pakistan was violent, with heavy loss of military and civilian life on both sides. The conflict, spurred on by external forces, disrupted the economy, destroyed infrastructure, ruptured social ties, and left an indelible mark on the region. In the absence of embedded, impartial reporting, the narrative that emerged after the conflict, however, was unrealistic and biased. Without credible and accurate data to corroborate the reality on the ground, the inevitable tragedies of the war were exaggerated to mythic proportions. Unfortunately, these myths continue to persist. A word of caution is in order about reports coming out of Pakistan now. Nothing should be taken at face value anymore. The bias of the government in Karachi is obvious. Equally obvious should be the vested interests of that clandestine radio station run by the supporters of Sheikh Mujib. But reports coming from Indian news agencies... <laughs> Immediately after the surrender ceremony on the 16th of December 1971, cameras were able to capture the cold-blooded massacres of unarmed non-Bengalis, which was perpetrated by elements of the Mukti Bahini and by others celebrating the uh, victory against Pakistan. And those themselves eloquently and tragically reveal the 